Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat, you're watching iGAN and today we're going to be checking out some of the coolest things that you can do with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4 that you possibly cannot with your own laptop. Let's get started. So the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4 has been priced at 57,900 rupees and at that price it offers a pretty good chunk of specifications and good performance out of the box. So the Tab S4 has a 10.5 inch 2560 by 1600 Super AMOLED display which offers a 287 pixel per inch pixel density. It runs Android 8.1 out of the box and has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 chipset which is last year's chipset with an octa-core CPU at 4 cores at 2.35 gigahertz and 4 cores at 1.9 gigahertz. You also get Adreno 540 GPU and 4 gigabyte of RAM along with 64 gigabyte of onboard storage and you can pop in a micro SD card up to 400 gigabyte or 512 gigabyte cards when they become available. Interestingly, you do have a 13 megapixel camera on the back, which offers 4K video recording and HDR along with an LED flash. And on the front, you do have an eight megapixel camera along with 1080p video recording and also iris and retina scanning capabilities. The Tab S4 also has a 7,300 milliamp hour battery and supports fast charging, allowing you to charge up the entire tablet in about three hours. Now we wanted to see if the Tab S4 could become a good alternative for a lot of people who use their laptop for day-to-day -day usage, browsing the internet, using business applications, and basic word processing. What all could the Tab S4 offer? So we found 10 things that could be really interesting for a lot of users. So first thing we want to talk about is the display. The display on the Tab S4 is a super AMOLED display which offers really good specifications of 2560 by 1600 pixels. Not only is this a good pixel density for the size of the screen, but because it is a super AMOLED display, you get really sharp and bright vivid colors along with good levels levels of black which means that blacks can almost be true blacks allowing for really good color reproduction for presentations for watching video or just consuming content on the tablet. This makes it a really good replacement for traditional laptops which have LCD screens and not as high resolution, mostly 1080p, specifically in this price bracket. You do get high-res laptops, but you have to spend almost double the price of the Tab S4. Another cool thing about the Tab S4 is a full-fledged computing mode called the Samsung DeX. Now the tablet does have DeX in built, so you don't need to buy any third-party accessory. And all you need is a USB to HDMI dongle to attach the Samsung Tab S4 to any external monitor and once you do that you automatically enable the DeX mode. With this mode it turns your standard tablet into a full-fledged PC and because Microsoft apps are preloaded you can use this to do basic things like word processing, Excel or number processing, you can make presentations on the go and you can also browse the web on a much larger screen. What's most important is that whatever you save gets saved directly onto the tablet and you can remove it from the display and carry it with you so you can have one monitor placed at home and one monitor placed at work and all you need to do is connect the monitor and you get a full-fledged computing experience without needing to sync up things or create a cloud network interface. The third point for the Tab S4 is the fact that you get an attachable keyboard and you can pair up a mouse uh, using Samsung accessories. So there is a Pogo connector keyboard that is available. It's a full-size keyboard, allows you to manage all your documents and do word processing on the go really quickly. This also works in the DeX mode. And if you don't like these accessories, you can also attach third-party accessories. You can get your own keyboard and mice and connect them via Bluetooth and they work flawlessly in the DeX mode as well as in the traditional Android mode on the device. Now the fourth point, which is also one of the most important points, is the fact that the Tab S4 supports the S Pen. This S Pen is slightly different from that used on the Galaxy Note 9 or any of the Note series devices. It's a thicker, much more easier to use pen and it has a standard pen feel. So you can use it to take notes and the accuracy and the speed at which it takes notes is almost pen paper like so you can quickly scribble down notes or design or draw on the go if that is something that you're into. So the S Pen has lots of tools and lots of functionality allowing it to be really versatile for usage along with the Tab S4. Now the fifth point also builds on the S Pen functionality and it's more for designers and creatives is because the Tab S4 does have a built-in Wacom digitizer which allows the S Pen to work with the tablet. You can use the Tab S4 as a pen input tablet for when you are in the 
the Dex mode. This allows you to use a standard Tab S4 to draw illustrations on a larger screen. And then on the go, you can make changes to those. If you're somebody who makes illustrations or design work and wants to submit it, but wants to make changes at the last minute, you can do that directly on the Tab S4. So functionality and portability continues to be one of the most important things with the Tab S4. Now, the sixth point is kind of cool because uh, the device, because it has Android, has Google Assistant built in. But interestingly, it also has far field microphones inbuilt. So it also works as Google Home. So you can quickly say, hey, Google, turn on the lights or hey, Google, turn on the music or hey, Google, play some video from YouTube. And also the fact that you can put it on the pogo stand and in the night mode, it works as a night dock or a clock and you can have it on your desk and it can work as Google Home on your desk or on the bedside table. It's a really cool multifunctional device and point number six illustrates that quite a lot. Now the seventh I feel is interesting and that is AKG audio. The speakers, which are quad speakers, are really loud and are tuned with AKJ audio. So the output of the speakers is quite impressive. And in most cases, you will not require external speakers or headphones, but you can also get AKG tuned audio out of the headphone jack if you want to use third party headphones. So AKG audio is a really good feature. Again, you do get laptops with good audio tuning, but they usually cost a lot of money. This allows you to get this in a built in package. And I find that really convenient. Now, point number eight is a little bit of a mix because the device does have a gyroscope inbuilt and because you're using handheld mode you can do a lot of gaming on this but you are restricted to whatever is available on the google play store and you can't have higher end games uh, like you can on a pc so it's a little bit of a mix but if you are uh, interested in more portable on the go games uh, this is definitely a better option for those who are looking for that but if you're looking for higher end games uh, this will definitely not support that and you will not get full windows games on this tablet but because it is handheld and it has the gyroscope capability if you're into games like PUBG or even Asphalt uh, this will be really good on the go. Now point number nine is more about durability because a lot of laptops now are available with touch screens and keyboards and additional inputs but the coolest thing about this is that a it has Gorilla Glass 3 on the front but b it has no hinges so you're not worried about the hinge breaking or loosening up and the overall build quality of the tablet is pretty impressive. The Pogo connectors allow you to connect the keyboards and remove them via magnets and and the connectors so you don't need to worry about that getting damaged anytime soon so the overall build quality and design and the durability the portability it offers is definitely something that gives it a slight edge above most traditional laptops now point number 10 is the fact that you can use this in vertical mode a lot of tablets and laptops you can use in vertical mode as well but because it is compact and lightweight for those who like reading on the go you can use it in vertical mode at 480 grams it's not overly heavy most traditional laptops are well over the one kilo Kilogram weight. This is only less than half a kilogram. It makes it really easy to hold in the hand for long periods of time. If you like reading, you can put it in the reading mode and read ebooks or general browsing the internet is a lot easier in the vertical mode. It also offers interesting multitasking in the vertical mode. So you can have a video playing on the top and you can browse the text on the bottom. These are things that can make the Tab S4 really interesting for a lot of people. So those are the 10 points we found will help a lot of people replace their laptops with a Tab S4. Now, of course, you're not getting the same level of graphics and functionality that you can get with traditional laptops. But for most people who do document processing, browsing the internet, like I mentioned, and for a lot of creatives, the Tab S4 can offer up really good opportunities, uh, especially if you're constantly on the go and want one unified device to be able to do that. Hopefully this video helped you out. And if it did, don't forget to hit that like button Button if you haven't already done that and hit that subscribe button if you're not already a part of team iGyan. This has been Bharat Nagpal with team iGyan here at iGyan Network. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. I don't know if what we hide was just a waste of time. You got 70,000 friends, but I am one of them.